Hey y'all, welcome to the Lips Reaction. I'm Lips and today we are going to be starting what I hope is the beginning of a Batman universe journey for us here in Reactions and we're starting with Joker. I have seen the trailers for Joker Foliadu and I'm very excited for that and I thought I think finally now is the time to watch the Joker. I it's been a movie that has interested me for quite some time. The Joker is a character that has always interested me and by no means did I grow up really far into any sort of superhero fanfic, but I do remember Batman and the Joker and Robin Hood, no, Batman and Robin and the Joker being somewhat prevalent in my early life, my 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 adolescent life. So I also was at an impressionable age when Heath Ledger passed away, and so I, I am familiar with kind of the role of the Joker. And to be fair, I think that's why the Batman movies have interested me, but also something... The Batman movies have interested me because of my connection to my childhood in Batman, but I have kind of strayed away from them because of the this kind of like desire to be able to sit down in a meaningful way. And if you're new to my channel, then sometimes I touch on this, that the reason why I'm able to have this reaction channel and react to so many amazing movies that you all know and love is because movies have been quite difficult for me to sit down and pay attention to. They're not something that I sit down to... They're not something that I used to sit down to enjoy in my free time a lot. Now, I when I'm in situations where I'm kind of more forced to focus, I find that I really, really enjoy movies. I really enjoy cinema. Um, I really like to go to the movie theater and watch a movie and sit down very purposefully. I really like to sit down and very purposely watch movies here for reactions. When somebody wants to share a movie with me, I like to do my best to be very purposeful and sit down and watch them. Movies can sometimes have the same effect to me as like car rides or plane rides or something about like the when the movie goes on, my body goes, we're safe. So, <laughs> and I just kind of, when I feel safe, I just kind of start to fall asleep. And that's why it's got to be, you know, I've got the lights on. I've got, I like know that I'm focused. I know that I'm here to like have a conversation and to, to watch this movie, not just passively, but, but actively watch the movie. And perhaps that's how media is meant to be consumed, right? So it's been a great joy to join in on this. And that's why I'm very nervous but excited to dive into this world that I've wanted to for a while. I think the conversations around mental health that the Joker brings up will be something kind of interesting to think about in relation to this movie and the impact of in the in the seriousness of and I think something that intrigues me most about a movie about a villain is I am really drawn to stories that don't always have happy endings. I'm really drawn to stories that depict the lows of life right alongside the highs of life. There's Sometimes, often, there's many things that I engage in media-wise to escape life. And when I purposely sit down to watch things, I want, I find myself leaning towards things that have me thinking about life and pain and etc. I don't know why it's easier for me to sit with painful things more than happy things but it is and so with all that said I'm very excited to dive into the Joker whether it be this grand adventure of pain and and mental health and 
and other things within this line or whether it just be a phenomenal cinematic movie within the Batman franchise. Whatever the journey is, wherever the reaction lands for me and wherever we're able to share this in this reaction today is what it's meant to be. And for that, I'm very excited to watch Joker for the first time. If you want the full length direction of this movie or any other movie or TV show you see here on this channel and more, because more, I do my best to get one movie reaction out a week over on Patreon along with the TV reactions that I get out and I'm not able to edit at the same pace as I'm able to watch, oddly enough. So if you want more than what you just see over here edited on YouTube, then the full length directions are over there for you on Patreon. Otherwise, don't forget to hit like and subscribe here on the channel, and I will see you in the movie. Oh. Trying to force it so hard. You're gonna be a clown, at least you can be a good one. You know that, right? Oh. That's just mean. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, wow. They took more than just his stuff. His flower. <laughs> are we crying or are we laughing? <laughs> oh. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? These are tough times. How about you? He lost his job. I've been keeping up with your journal. Can I see it? He doesn't want to show her. I've been using it as a as a journal, but also as a joke diary. Yikes. Which is gonna be which? I'm pursuing a career in stand-up comedy. No, you didn't. That looks troubled. Just hope my death makes more sense than my life. How does it feel to have to come here? I think I felt better when I was locked up in the hospital. I was wondering if you could ask the doctor to increase my medication. <laughs> Arthur, you're on seven different medications. I just don't want to feel so bad anymore. Ow. Oh. Can you please stop bothering my kid? Bothering? Oh. I wasn't bothering. Just him. stop. Was... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oof. But you think that's funny? <laughs> that would be so uncomfortable. <laughs> it's a medical condition causing sudden, frequent, and uncontrollable laughter that doesn't match how you feel. Brain injury. Oh. I'm so. <laughs> so when he gets uncomfortable. Happy. Authorities are saying the city is under siege by scores of rats and not. Yikes. You must not be getting my letters. It's Thomas Wynn. Well, he's a busy man. I worked for that family for years. The least you could do is write back. I'll make a great mayor. From NCB Studio. <laughs> NCB. The mayor said he has a solution. You ready for this? Super cats. <laughs> oh, he's laughing in an incorrect situations right now. Who is that? Was that you? You want to stand up, please? Oof. In his own delusion. 
Where are you from? I live right here in the city with my mother. <laughs> oh. I've been the man in the house for as long as I can remember. I take good care of my mother. Yeah. People are so quick to judge. She always tells me to smile and put on a happy face. She says I was put here to spread joy and laughter. Is that why she calls him happy? That's devastating, though. Is that why he wants to be a comedian? You see all this, the lights, the show, the audience, all that stuff. I'd give it all up in a heartbeat to have a kid like you. <laughs> I wish it were real. Oh. It's real to him. I heard about the beatdown you took. Fucking savages. Kids, I should have left it alone. No, we'll take everything from you if you do that. Take it. It's for you. <laughs> you gotta protect yourself. Whoa. Not supposed to have a gun. Like legally, I think. Yikes. I like you, Arthur, but I got another complaint. Uh, the guy said you disappeared. Never even returned his sign. Uh, uh, he got beat. Why would I keep his sign? How the fuck do I know? Why does anybody do anything? Yikes. Listen, I'm trying to help oh. you. Okay? That's it. That pushed him over the line. They don't feel comfortable around him. That's mean. Thank you. Hello. This building is so awful, isn't it? Yeah. It's so awful, Mom. Hey. <laughs> yeah, uh, was the correct social social interaction maybe a little much, but what do you think he's going to do? It's going to help us. Are you were friends what 30 years ago? If he saw this place, it would make him sick. Don't you have to be funny to be a comedian? Whoa! Yikes. I fear his own mother is part of his problem. Hey, what's your name? Arthur. You're a really good dancer. No, it's not. Him. Ooh! Yikes. That was quick thinking on his part, but yikes. Is he gonna get revenge on these kids? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't follow them. <laughs> Something I'll address once I have time to look for now. Mm, he didn't really laugh at that. He only laughed because other people laughed. I said anything. <laughs> Sexy jokes, always funny. Always make funny part about a mental, a mental illness. The fact that he can't really spell is uh, an important character trait, I think. It says it gives us a little more insight into him, how he was brought up. People, oh, he's proud of himself. You expect you to be. People expect you to have as if you don't. To behave as if you don't. People expect you to behave as if you don't. First part about having a mental illness is people expect you to behave as if you don't. Hey. Hey. Are you following me today? Oh! She's smart. Yeah. Okay. I was hoping you'd come in and rob the place. I have a gun. I... No. 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 Oh, she's... So funny, aren't they? Oof. He doesn't get it, though. He's being sincere. You know, I, I do stand-up comedy. Maybe come see a show sometime. I could do that. Hmm. Who's not afraid of him? He's... A pretty... A, he's a clown that makes me go uncomfortable. Oh! I love this job. 
Cobra? I need to know why. Yeah. Fire. Double yikes. Oh, I'm sorry, Arthur. Well, you did fuck up. Oh! Don't ignore him. He's being nice to you. Yikes. <laughs> Arthur. Sorry, what? Just don't, don't just start singing. Staring around like a <laughs> Oh no. Uh oh. You gotta kick her, huh? I was afraid he was gonna pull out the gun, but now I wish he would have. <gasps> Arthur, he just takes it. Oh, not anymore. Oh, fuck. Ah. There... No one else had to get off? Oh, oh no. I was... I was hoping for a little intimidation, not a, not a full breaking point. That is harrowing and heartbreaking and beautiful. Didn't see that coming, but okay. I read it was a guy in full makeup. No, it says right here it was a mask. Someone's gonna put two and two together. Why did it make him feel so confident after? Is that part of your new act, Arthur? If your dancing doesn't do the trick, you're just gonna shoot yourself? <laughs> Why don't you ask Randall about it? Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck are you talking about? Stop talking out of your ass, Art. <laughs> Randall threw him under the bus, though, didn't he? I forgot to punch out. Oh. My name. Don't smile. Happy look, Thomas Wayne's on TV. Yes, all three were for Wayne Investments. Good. Mm. Like all Wayne employees, past and present. They're family. You They're hear that? I told you we're family. Yikes. It's not real, Mom. He doesn't actually mean it. Gotham has lost its way. Someone who is envious of those more fortunate than themselves. Yet they're too scared to show their own face. And until those kind of people change for the better, those of us who have made something of our lives will all... It's nothing but clowns. Wow. <laughs> Thomas Wayne. That's not funny. No, it's not. And that's why he laughed. Don't you get it, Mom? We don't laugh because things are funny. We laugh because they're anything but. It was like nobody ever saw me. Even I didn't know if I really existed. Arthur, I have some bad news for you. Oh, fuck. You don't listen, do you? <laughs> I didn't know if I even really existed. But I do. Uh-oh. We're starting to notice. Oh, not for the right reasons. Uh-oh. They've cut our funding. We're closing down our offices next week. Of course they are. They don't give a shit about people like you, Arthur. Wow. And they really don't give a shit about people like me, either. Am I supposed to get my medication now? I'm sorry, Arthur. No medication? Oh no. Oh, this is the worst time for him. He's past something. He feels confident, but like, it's not good. Not for the right reasons. He feels seen. People are seeing him. He 
He's standing up for himself by killing people. Always told that his purpose in life was to bring laughter and joy into this cold, oh, dark no. world. Ooh, and she's there. Smile. Oh. Heart is aching. Oh. Even. They're proud of him. He's doing good. When there are clouds. I wish we could have seen it. And maybe tomorrow. Is that... you... No, no, don't try to mimic it. You believe that shit? Fuck him. Fuck him indeed. Three less pricks in Gotham City. Only a million more to go. Mm. You must keep on trying. Smile. Wow. Vigilante, people are dressing up like him. No one's ever seen him in that light. No one's ever seen him. It's a different if I would die soon as I've sickly I realize this might open up the ridicule, but I need your help. Your son? Your son? Oh, uh oh. Oh no, a little sad, but. A good boy, maybe a little sad, but a good boy named the less. I think he would be proud of the job I've done. No, no. I'm not talking to you until you stop being angry. I'm not angry. Hmm. Please. Is it real or is it like family? Like he calls everyone that works for him family. He said it was best that we not be together because of his appearances. Yeah, that's not why he said that. The city looks to features Wayne begins campaign next to his beautiful wife. And a little boy. Oh, he doesn't waste any time. Did he just go straight to Thomas Wayne? Oh, that's not creepy at all. I'm Bruce. Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Stop that. I'm here to see Mr. Wayne. Well, you shouldn't be speaking to his son. My mother's name is Penny. Penny Fleck. She used to work here years ago. Can you please tell Mr. Wayne I need to see him? You are her son. Yeah. Oh, he knows. There is no them. Your mother was delusional. Just go. Hmm? Yikes. Thomas Wayne is my father. Oh, yikes. Uh-oh. I can believe that his mother might have been unwell, because a lot of times that stuff is hereditary, but... She died. We had a few questions for you, but you weren't home, so we spoke with your mother. That's what made it happen. She freaked out. No, 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 no. We just asked her some questions, and she got hysterical, collapsed, and hit her head yeah, pretty hard. Yeah, the doctor said she. She hit her head. She had a stroke and hit her head. What kind of questions did you ask her? They're about the subway killings that happened last week. Mmm. You said you were fired for bringing a gun into the children's hospital. Is that true, Mr. It was a prop. This condition of yours, the laughing, is it real? Some sort of clown thing. I mean, it's part of your act. What dicks? Think. Oh. That's the worst. Oh, wow. Didn't foresee her being there with him. And finally, in a world where everyone thinks they could do my job, we got this videotape from Pogo's Comedy Club right here in Gotham. Oh, no. Just keep laughing. It'll somehow make you funny. Oh, Check out this no. Video. Joker. No, I won't, Ma. I'm going to be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> He's proud of himself. <laughs> you should have listened to your mother. <laughs> Rude. One more, Bobby. Let's see one more. This is a certified bully. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. 
Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. We'll leave. Today, in one of several planned demonstrations taking on the city's elite, including a massive rally outside tomorrow night's benefit at Wayne Hall. Well, that's going to inspire him. Son, this way. That's what this whole thing is about. So system. Wayne. Fuck the rich. Fuck Thomas Wayne. You might remember it was Thomas Wayne who first referred to many of Gotham's residents as clowns. Ooh, that's right. Oh. He moves silently and gets in places he really shouldn't. Oh. <laughs> I ain't even mad. I'm kind of proud. But it's dark. Found him. Can I help you, pal? More than you know. Penny Fleck is my mother. But my mother told me everything, and I had to talk to you. Look, pal, You're... I'm not your father. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Yikes. Because you were adopted, and I never slept with your mother. I mean, my mother. What? Your mother adopted you while she was working for us. That's not true. Why are you saying that? That she was arrested and committed to Arkham State Hospital oh, when you were just a little boy. What? You Maybe a little bit of warmth. Maybe a hug, Dad. How about just a little bit of fucking decency? Who? She's crazy. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Dad, it's me. <laughs> Arthur. Wow. What are you doing? Arthur. Marie played a clip of your stand-up on the show recently, and we have gotten an amazing response from our viewers. Marie asked me to give you a call and see if you're... You made fun of him. Amazing responses. And Murray asked if I would reach out to you to see if you would come on as his guest. You joking? Just to bully him? That's yeah, fucked that up. sounds great. Uh-oh. The look in his eyes is so eerie. How does someone wind up in here? Some are just crazy, pose dangers to themselves and others. He was in a hospital for a little bit. Not this one. Last time I ended up taking it out on some people. I thought it was going to bother me, but it really hasn't. You are saying too much. What's that? I'm doing some bad shit. Arthur? No, oh, the patient suffers from delusional psychosis and narcissistic personality disorder. Uh-oh. Sounds very similar. You said she's your mom? I'm sorry, man. Like I said, I can't release these records. No, oh, man! Uh-oh. Extremely bizarre behavior. S abuse. Child adoption application. You adopted him. We have all the paperwork right here. Thomas had that all made up. So it stayed our secret. Uh-oh. One of your boyfriends repeatedly abused your adopted son. Oh my gosh. And battered you. Oh no. He was beat. <laughs> As a young kid, mother of adopted child allowed her son's abuse. House of terror for a mother and son. Oh my god. Your son was found tied to a radiator. Oh my gosh. Malnourished with multiple bruises across his body and severe trauma to his head. <laughs> that explains a lot. I wish I could give him a hug. Oh my God. What are you doing in here? You're in the wrong apartment. That's the, that's what you say to him? I think he knows. Doctor, right? Wait, wait, what? I really need you to leave. Wait, 
Their relationship wasn't real? Please don't. No. She was never there. It seemed weird, but... <laughs> Why didn't they take him? Why didn't they, they rescue him when he was a child? Why did they just leave him with his mom? I haven't been happy one minute of my entire fucking life. That sounds about right. I used to think that my life was a tragedy. But now I realize it's a fucking comedy. No. Do you know the definition of comedy? Good friend of the show, Mr. Ethan Chase. This is so sad. They're just going to bully him and make fun of him to his face. See you, Ethan. You're looking great. Thank you very much. You're looking good yourself. Ah, can't complain. Kind of hard to watch. Hey, Murray. Thank you so much for having me on the show. It's been a lifelong dream of mine. Wait, did they actually even call him then? You know, I'm also a comedian. Would you like to hear a joke? Yeah? All of you? I don't know that I trust his sense of humor anymore, seeing as he just killed his mom as a... Sorry, what? You're riding high in April. Oh, no. Hey, Arthur. How's it going? Oh, hi. What's with the makeup then? My mom died. Celebrating. Celebrating. That's that's why we came by. I figured uh, you could use some cheering up. <laughs> I stopped taking my medication. I feel a lot better now. The cops have been coming around the shop. They're talking. Oh, this guy. Those subway murders. And, um... They didn't talk to me. They talked to him. I just want to know what you said. Make sure our stories line up, seeing yeah. as how. Thank you. So Thank there's this so alternative. Oh! No, no, no. Delusions, right? Please. Please. <gasps> how is, does this movie not end up with him in jail? How is there a second one? Oh. You were the only one that was ever nice to me. Yeah. Fuck. Hey. That sucks. I mean. I'm just a deflated balloon. More or less, so blend in with every other fucker in there. Obviously, murder is bad. Obviously, we never stood behind any of the murder. There's clear disruption in Gotham. It was easy for the people of this city to get behind a murderer and in the with the right it's like what what oh fuck Wow, that's a recipe for disaster. If there was a cookbook of recipes for disaster, this would this would be the the main course. Abuse, neglect, poverty, 
bullying um an actual mental diagnosis i feel like i know you you don't i just thought i'd be good for my act for your act didn't you hear what happened on the subway some clown got killed he's aware of that he's aware of that yeah no i hadn't heard thanks when you bring me out can you introduce me as joker that's what you called me on the show a joker well if you say so kid you know joker it is it's good thanks murray and the joker was born dark you gotta see our next guest for yourself i'm pretty sure this guy could use a doctor rude very rude so please welcome joker i think they're about to get the more of a show than they asked for <laughs> so. oh my goodness it's got a book a book of jokes Hmm, not so much. <sighs> Just hope my death makes more sense than my life. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's the police, ma'am. Your son's been hit by a drunk driver. He's dead. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's not funny, Arthur. That's not the kind of humor we do on this show. It's been a rough few weeks, Murray. <laughs> Ever since I... Ever since you what? Killed those three Wall Street guys. Oh. Okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. It's not a joke. Uh-oh. He's gonna keep it on, because it's just great for his ratings. And why should we believe you? I got nothing left to lose. <laughs> My life is nothing but a comedy. And he's the joke. You decide what's right or wrong the same way that you decide what's funny or not. Did this to start a movement to become a, a... Nope. I look like the kind of clown that could start a movement. I killed those guys because they were awful. They were beating him up. Oh, why is everybody so upset about these guys? Nobody's civil anymore. You think men like Thomas Wayne ever think what it's like to be someone like me? I mean, there's so much self-pity, Arthur. Not everybody, and I'll tell you this, not everyone is awful. You're awful. Oh, he is a bully. Oh, yeah? How am I awful? Playing my video. Yeah. You just wanted to make fun of me. Someone was killed today because of what you did. How about another joke, Murray? No, I think we've had enough of your jokes. When you cross I think a mentally ill loaner with a it. society that abandons him and treats him like it's trash, the get what you fucking deserve! Woo oh my goodness. Good night. And always remember, that's... Remember what? Get what you deserve. Yeah, the whole fucking city's on fire because of what you did. I know. <gasps> They're here to get him out. Wow. Their hero. Oh, there's Thomas Wayne. His wife and his kid. Uh oh. Wayne. You get what you fucking deserve. So pow. Okay, what the fuck did she do? Put a smile on. 
What's so funny? It's just like... I don't like his jokes, but <laughs> wait a second. Is Batman's name Bruce Wayne? Isn't Batman's name Bruce Wayne? The crazy. Some people get their kicks. Stopping on a dream. Wolf. Flat on my face. And this is where he meets Lady Gaga, right? The making of Batman. That's crazy. Get what you deserve and that that line of you get what you deserve followed by Oh, no, 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 it wasn't that. It was just the, like, this, like, laugh, this evil laugh, this haunting laugh, and then cutting to the image of Bruce Wayne standing in between his dead parents' body. Bodies. Making a Batman. The full circle of you get what you deserve, I guess. Keen Phoenix. He is incredibly terrifying. He is so, so, so haunting. He plays a really good creep. I knew that from Gladiator, but this is a whole new level. I'm haunted. There was never a moment where you could fully stand behind Arthur. But it's a super complicated story because the world and the burn, like, it's so, it is so what that city deserves to be on fire at the end, right? And we don't see this, like, super corrupt side of it. We just see the story of Arthur for the most part. We see how he was failed by so many people his own mother being the main one and whether she's delusional and Wayne wasn't his father or not is neither here nor there because the abuse that happened to him as a kid is changed his life forever in ways that even he didn't know or realize and he was told to open he was pretty much told and to always be this happy, joking kid. So he just laughs at the most inappropriate times. He was just abused. It's so sad. And, you know, it, 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 I don't know the upcoming of Bruce after his parents die. Was it good? Was it bad? Right. But it's the, the parallel of, these two kids having super traumatic things happen to them at a young age. But if Bruce is able to, you know, if, if he doesn't have this mental illness that runs in his family and he, he doesn't have abuse, of course he doesn't end up super fucked up, but you've got to ask yourself, why was this entire city able to rally behind a killer? Why, even after they see him shoot the TV guy, are, are they still rallying behind him in such such an aggressive way at that? He never intended to to have the outcome in the city that it did, but it made him feel seen. It made him feel appreciated for the first time probably ever. It's so haunting. And it's it's... Obviously, it's, it's, it's a dramatized portrayal of life. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a dramatized portrayal of mental health. I actually think it portrays an aspect of mental health that is very, very, very real. I think maybe I've heard that that there's a criticism about this movie that it glorifies mental health, and I don't 
think that is true in any sense. I think it shows how incredibly dark it is. I think it shows how the world and, and certain aspects of society can enhance the bad sides of the, the negatives of mental health. And in, I mean, enhance and like push someone further and further into it, especially delusions and actually losing grip of reality. Like the entire plot line of being brought on the show, the entire plot line of them showing his comedy just to make fun of him, it it's just bullying, isn't it? I mean, it's just straight up bullying at the end of the day, and that's really that's really, really dark and really sad, really horrifically sad at that. There's no forgiving it. There is understanding or like, I don't know what it is. It's like sadness. There's no forgiving it. There's no looking past it. There's no glorifying it. It's just so heartbreaking. It feels so hopeless and helpless. And like, it's just what can you even do? It's a really, really gut-wrenching portrayal of mental health. <sighs> Obviously, to an extent, it's dramatized. Or the life of it, the world is dramatized. But the mental health aspect, I just think, is a reality for some people. And that sucks. And you see all the ways in which the world failed him abuse, lack of support, lack of um, medicine. And Joaquin Phoenix did a phenomenal job. And I, it's a haunting movie. It's absolutely haunting. I'm nervously excited to see Folly Adu. That one will be interesting. So I I don't know yet if I'll try to see that in theater or if I'll save it to 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 react with you all. Um, that'll be kind of a, a TBD. I think that would be an interesting one to see in the theaters, but also like an interesting movie to discuss as well. So we'll see about that. But until then, until whatever happens next, thank you for joining me and. As always, if you want the full-length reactions, they are available in Patreon. Uh, this reaction, every movie reaction and TV show reaction you see here on this channel or in the playlist here, and more. Otherwise, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next reaction.